Minds, Life Coach Keish here. Don't leave without liking, subscribing, and sharing. Good evening, friends and family on both Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I mentioned to you guys before that we got our first Blue Apron delivery. And so I wanted to share with you all this experience and how it's going to work out for me. I hope that you guys have some cocktails. I have champagne because I don't know how this is going to go tonight. My sidekick Diamond, aka our dog, is in the background. So I'm sure you guys can hear her eating her dinner um, as I prepare this for my husband and I. So, uh, first one takes it. So, tonight we are going to try the first recipe that came in, which is the Zatar roasted chicken thighs, which I mentioned to you guys earlier in the week. I did swap out for salmon because we are pescatarian. So again, this is what it's supposed to look like. We'll see what happens um, when I'm done making this. So some stuff I did pre-open just because I didn't want to like take up extra time with that. But let's get into this and see what Blue Apron has to offer. So we're gonna go step by step on the back. Thank God for the visuals so that we can try to do this in the right way. Um, and I hope that this helps you guys come up with some new fun recipes for yourselves and your families as well. So first and foremost, it says, hey chef, that's me. Try these WW Pro tips. Skip adding salt during prep and cooking and see nutrition info. Well, I don't use salt anyway, so we can move on to step one. Step one, prepare the ingredients. So it says place an oven rack in the center of the oven, which that's already done, and preheat the oven at 450 degrees. So let me do that. Okay, oven is preheating. Fill a medium pot three quarters of the way with salt water covered in heat to boil. So I have my Ray Dunn boil pot that we are gonna use for this. Shout out to my husband. This is one of my amazing Christmas gifts from him. If y'all know me, you know I have a serious uh, Ray Dunn obsession, I'll call it. So we are going to fill this up three quarters of the way. Oh, my sidekick just left me. She must know we're about to do something crazy in here. I don't really know how many cups is three quarters of the way for this pot yet because it's a new pot. So we're going to figure this out together. And each of my Pyrexes is like a cup and a half. So we'll see what happens. For those of you who are joining me, I hope that you all have a cocktail. I sure do because this is an extravaganza, y'all. I don't know what, what this is about to look like. Please don't judge me. Um, but this is my way of spicing up the kitchen. Hello, friends. I see you guys waving and saying hello. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate that. Okay, we're going to stop there. That's about three quarters of the way. So... I will put the boil pot on the stove. As they said with the WW Pro Tip, I don't cook with salt, so I'm not going to put any salt into the water. Um, I'm just going to kind of let it go and cover it up so it can boil. Okay, next step is to wash and dry the fresh produce. That's crazy that they have to tell people to do that. Like, why would you ever, like and not wash it that's kind of gross but we'll see i guess there's folks who do that that's really really gross to me but anyway it is a party i see some people over on instagram mentioning that we have a party going on here we do or at least we're going to try to have a party going on here and the two carrots. they are really serious about portion control y'all like they really sent me two carrots like I asked for two servings and it is like two carrots. Like this is, it's very precise. So overeating is like not a possibility. Okay. 
So, excuse me guys, my trash can is behind me. So, I'm one of those people who like cleans up as I'm cooking. So, bear with me because I will be constantly doing that. Um, okay, so now it says to peel the carrots half, half lengthwise, then cut crosswise into one inch pieces. So, let me get my good knife. I think this one should be fine. Now, when I use carrots and things like that, I do cut off the ends. Like, I just, I don't like the idea of like eating that. Um, it doesn't say that you need to do that, but it's something that I'm gonna do. Also, shout out to my best friend for this awesome cutting board that I absolutely love. I really like wooden cutting boards and she found me a really great one, so thank you so much. I don't know if you are joining us, but thank you for that. Hello to everyone who is joining me on this first ever Blue Apron journey that we are going on tonight to try to make some fancy food um, that I would not typically make just because I don't think about that. Now I need to cut these carrots halfwise, which is proven a little bit more. Oh, there we go. A little bit more difficult than I anticipated. If anybody has carrot cutting tips, please give those to me. Or if there's something that I could purchase, I would appreciate that. That's going to cut my carrots easier. Let me know. I usually use baby carrots um, anytime I'm cooking with carrots. So using like a whole carrot is a bit of an experience for me and I promise y'all this knife is sharp so you know but again we'll see first time for everything hello again to everybody who's just joining us I see you guys hello 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 all right this one is super strong okay so now that they're cut in half I'm supposed to cut them into one approximately one inch pieces but these carrots are a little bit thick so I think I'm going to go a little bit uh, less than one inch maybe like three quarters of an inch and we'll see how that goes here I am y'all already making up my own rolls it doesn't take me long to start making up my own rolls with stuff like this I don't like the way that end looks. Okay, so the carrots are cut. Let me get a bowl. I have some clear bowls here to be able to put these in. Okay. Carrots done. Now, it says half and peel the onion, cut into one inch wide wedges, separating the layers. So they gave me the little baby onion, y'all. So, and I think I want a sharper knife. That one's not doing it for me. Let's go with the serrated one. That's the instructions we need. What kind of knife do y'all need me to use? That would be very helpful, but anyways. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. So my onion's cut in half. Then I need to peel it. This one's not that bad, y'all. It's not like a crier. So that's nice. Does anybody else always like accidentally peel off like way more than just the skin layer when you're peeling an onion? I feel like I always go like two, three layers deep and that is like not what you're supposed to do. Um, but I feel like that always happens to me. And I am going to take these ends off because, again, I'm super funny about, like, ends on stuff, y'all. So, they have to go. And, again, we're going to peel this. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Now we'll throw away the excess. And, again, like I said, y'all, it says once I peel that and cut it in half, then I need to put them in one-inch wedges so thick 
wedges and then peel them apart. rid of the middles too i don't like the middle of the onion what do y'all do with the middle of the onion i i get rid of it it's a little strange looking for me so this has to go okay that means the onions preheated hopefully i am on time because this meal is supposed to take i want to say 55 minutes to cook 25 to 35 oh okay well i better move a little bit faster. I'm just separating my onions at this point and also trying not to accidentally feed the dog pieces of onion because it's like on the floor or something. So separate the onions. So we have all of our little pieces and stuff like that. I don't know about y'all but this is um, not so bad because I don't like tedious cooking. And it doesn't really feel tedious. And hopefully it tastes great. I won't be the judge of that though. I'll let my husband come on and tell y'all how it tastes. Hello, hello, hello to everyone who just joined us. Um, I just kind of want to reiterate that I'm cooking our first blue apron meal. It is the Zatar roasted chicken thighs. However, I swapped chicken thighs for salmon because we eat pescatarian in my house. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. So let me grab another bowl so that the onions can be in their bowl. Look at me, y'all. This is kind of looking like the picture. I'm gonna show y'all in a second when I'm done this. So that's that. And then last is the radishes that they sent me. And it says that these need to be quartered. So I'm just gonna cut off that little end because that looks weird. And quarter these. One, two, they sent four of these by the way y'all. Um, if you want to know how many radishes you need. Because this is definitely something that like you could go to the grocery store and pick up this stuff. It's pretty, pretty regular. Oh, there's a little leaf. We're going to get rid of that. And this weird little end. And then again, cut these in quarters. Okay. So we need one more bowl for the radishes okay so this is what we have so this is the picture we're on step one and this is what i have carrots onions radishes all right we're on to step two y'all where we're gonna roast the vegetables and the salmon. So I'm gonna line a sheet pan with foil and transfer everything over onto the foil, drizzle it with olive oil and season with salt and pepper, toast to coat, arrange in an even layer on one side of the sheet pan. So this is how that looks. I already pulled out my pan. So we're going to line this with foil. I'm going to do two pieces just to make sure, because um, this is not Reynolds wrap, y'all. This is like the dollar store aluminum foil, and I feel like the juices and stuff like run through that. So let's just do two pieces just in case. So that's that. Now I'm putting all of this stuff onto one side of the pan. 
I guess we better make sure we get everything, y'all, because they only sent a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So, all the vegetables are there. And I mentioned to you guys before that they sent me, like, this knick-knack bag um, that has, like, some of the other stuff that we need. Let's add this little vinegar and the yogurt sauce. Okay, so none of this stuff do we need right now. These have been used, so they will now go down into my sink. And then I need the salmon. Which I'm just gonna cut open. They sent me a nice piece of Alaskan salmon, or Atlantic salmon, which I am going to cut in half, of course, for my husband and I. So I just need to open this package. And this goes on to the other side. Oh, y'all, it's actually two pieces. I thought it was just one, but it's two pieces. So that's good. So I don't actually have to cut it. That's nice. Okay. So separated it from the pan. Let me just wash my hands. I can't like cook straight through and not wash my hands. That's gross to me. I know people do it, but I can't. I'm also gonna have a sip of my champagne. Cheers to you guys who are here with us. Now, now that I've separated that, okay, salt and pepper, pat the, so it says pat the chicken dry, but we don't have chicken. Uh, we have salmon. So we're going to put a pinch of the Zatar sauce on there. So I'm not gonna use salt just because I don't use salt. So I'm gonna put pepper over everything. Cause pepper's fine with me. And then I'll pepper my salmon. And then it says to put a pinch of the Zatar. So the Zatar they send to you, so you can see that. Let me get some scissors. Now I'm terrible with a pinch, so we gonna see how this turns out. But I'm assuming that I'm probably gonna need it for something else. So Looks like the pinch just goes onto that. Now, y'all, pepper is not enough for me on these uh, vegetables. So I have some vegetable roasting seasoning that I'm gonna just put a little bit on, but that's just because I need a little extra umph. So just a little bit though, not a lot, just a little bit just because pepper alone is not gonna get it, okay? We are ethnic and we like our seasoning. Okay, let me just grab a paper towel. All right, so we did that part. Now, roast for 15 to 17 minutes or until the vegetables are tender when pierced with a fork and the salmon is cooked thoroughly. Okay, so let's put this in the oven. Now, I'm going to set my timer on my stove for 16 minutes. Just so that it's like in between. We'll see what happens. Okay. Next step. Okay. Cook the farro. So, this is the farro, y'all. This is a little bag, but we're going to see what happens. Okay. So, Add the farro to the boiling pot of water and cook uncovered for 18 to 20 minutes or until it's tender. Turn off the heat, drain thoroughly, and return to the pot. Okay, so our boiling pot is boiling at this point. So, I am going to... Pour the farro in. All 
I probably could have used my smaller pot. I'm just noticing that, but it's all right. We'll see what happens. That's poured in, and that goes for 18 to 20 minutes. So by the time the vegetables and the fish are done, we should then, like another minute or so, be able to deal with the farro and drain that out, which I already took the strainer out for us to use for that. Now we have to make the dressing. Okay. So, I'm actually going to, uh, I have pour bowls, so I will use that. So these are lifesavers, if you guys don't have these, these are made by Edge, and it's like all different um, sizes of bowls that you can actually like pour stuff, um, which makes it really easy so like you don't like drip or have to like use a spoon to catch off the side, so I'm going to use one of my Edge bowls to be able to make this. So, <clears throat> to make the dressing, it says, in a bowl, combine the yogurt, cheese, and a quarter cup of water, season with salt and pepper. So, they sent me a cup of non-fat yogurt, um, and they sent me feta cheese, which I love feta cheese, um, and then a quarter cup of water. So, let's get out the quarter cup which I'm gonna use this. You can use like your like Pyrex if you want to, but I just find like it's easier for me to like figure out because this is just a quarter, so top it off, you got your quarter. So I'm gonna use this. But you guys use whatever it is that works best for you. So first we pour in the yogurt and I'm also going to Mm, we need the mini spatula. I have a mini spatula for stuff like this. Or I'm sorry, a mini not spatula. What is this um, thing that you use for cake, right? I have that. So I'll make sure to get all the yogurt in here. Again, y'all, all this stuff is portion control. So I want to make sure that like we get everything out because it is slim pickings. But again, it's really just to make sure that you don't overeat. Okay. So, yogurt's in the bowl. Then I also need to put the cheese. So, I'm trying to be good with y'all and like, not open stuff with my teeth like I typically would. I'm trying to use like scissors and stuff. Um, but truth be told, I would probably do this with my teeth if I was not on live. And that's just facts. But anyway, so the cheese needs to go in here. quarter cup of water so like I said I'm just going to use like one of these but if y'all want to use like your your cups or whatever you can do that quarter cup okay now looks like I have to put some salt and pepper in here so we'll use pepper no salt and then I need to mix this up Okay, so just so y'all know, the feta cheese is a little bit hard. So I'm hoping that it's going to mix because the water's in there. Because it's definitely like a little bit hard. But we'll just see. Looks like our meat and vegetables have like another 10 minutes. Which means the farro has like another 12 minutes or so. Oh yeah, the cheese is breaking up, y'all, with the water and everything. Well, let me just keep spinning. You know what? Let me stop and take a drink. Cheers. We're almost there, guys. Another 10 minutes, prayerfully. This is just Corbel Rosé. Um, and then I just got fancy. I put a strawberry on the side. It's really not that serious, though, y'all. Like, it's really just like 
$7 champagne because I don't drink the good stuff during, unless it's like a holiday. But this does uh, get the job done the same way. Cheers. I see some cheers on Facebook. Cheers to you. And thank you for joining me with this. Again, for those who are just joining, we are cooking my first Blue Apron delivery together. Um, I'm really excited that you guys are joining me with this. Um, this was just kind of a journey that I wanted to take to spice things up with my healthy eating as um, I am a Weight Watchers girl and Blue Apron and Weight Watchers have a partnership. So I really wanted to try this um, as a way to spice up meals for myself and for my husband so that he's not eating chicken and broccoli every day because that's 100% what I would do. Um, and that's how I've, you know, been able to lose significant amounts of weight um, by just kind of eating some of the same stuff. Um, but I wanted to spice it up and do something different. Now, let me tell y'all what's going on with this uh, yogurt sauce. So the cheese is, um, it is breaking down, but it definitely um, is a little bit more difficult to break down than I thought. So I'm using the cake thing. I want to call this a spatula so bad, but I know it's not. Or maybe it is. I don't know. We'll work that out. But anyway, if anybody knows what this thing is called, I'm going to show y'all like a clean one. This. Please tell me. Is this a spatula? Right? Because I believe that this is a spatula. But help me out with this. The cake thing. What is it called? Usually I know this kind of useless trivia, but... Today, for some reason, I can't think of it. All right. Again, I'm really just trying to mix this up, y'all, because it's definitely some chunks of feta um, still in here. I'm going to give this a second because it's giving my arm, like, too much of a workout. Oh, a scraper? Someone else calls it a spatula? So, so spatula? Okay, so I'm not crazy. It is. Okay. All right, that works out then. I'm not crazy because I'm like, this has got to be. Thank y'all for, for that because clearly that was bothering me that I couldn't figure out the proper name. But anyway, I'm going to give this a second because my arm. Okay. Um, We are not to step five just yet because we have another seven minutes to go on the vegetables and the farro is cooking up. I am going to give that a little spin though. Just because I want to make sure like nothing sticks to the pan, even though these are non-stick pans. But sometimes I feel like even if it says non-stick, stuff still sticks. Does that happen to y'all? Because that happens to me. Um, but that's that. Anyway, for those who are just joining us, I just want to say thank you so much again. Let you guys know we are cooking with Blue Apron for the first time. The Zatar roasted chicken thighs. However, like I said, I swapped it for salmon because we're pescatarian. Um, I'm hoping and praying that it looks like this. Um, I do not have white plates like this. So we're just going to x -nay on that A and we're going to use my cute plates and see what happens. But I'm really excited for this, guys. I think that it may taste good. It smells good in here. Um, and I'm usually pretty good with that. So we'll see what happens. Let's. T I do want to take a look, though, at the vegetables and just spray them with a little bit of olive oil spray just because it helps to roast them a little bit better and let's crack the window because it is hot mm, y'all this is looking all right okay Just another five and a half minutes on that. And I'm also going to put this stuff away. So I'm also one of those people when I am cooking, like I have to constantly put stuff away. I have to constantly clean stuff. I don't like mess in the kitchen. That drives me absolutely insane. So all the major just as though my husband will do when I'm done, um, just because that's the deal around here. If you cook, the other person cleans. So 
I'm gonna leave that be. We still need this because we have to drain out the farro. Everything else though, you know what? I'm gonna do him a solid and I'm gonna clean this stuff. Really just because it's in my way um, and I don't want to deal with that. So I have these really like, this is a Ray Dunn little soap thing. It's amazing y'all. You just push the little soap in there and it just really gets like everything really, really good. Like for real, for real. This is the, the cutting board that I told y'all about that my best friend found for me that just makes me so excited about life because it's wood. So it cleans up really, really well. And I don't believe in dishwasher, y'all. So everything that we do is definitely by hand. I realized today how much counter space, like, we don't have. I don't know that I realized that until I needed to get all into these ingredients and stuff like that. Make sure to wash out the bowls that we cut the vegetables up in. So I'm interested to know if anybody else does, like, Blue Apron or Hello Fresh. Or anything like that. Like I said, I chose Blue Apron simply because they have Weight Watchers and the points are already done for me. So I decided that this was going to work out for me. Hello to my Instagram friends. I see you guys as well. We are live on both Instagram and Facebook so that both communities could witness this first Blue Apron meal that I'm attempting. Um, so hello, hello to you all as well. I don't want to neglect you, but I am very interested. Oh, my mother is requesting one of my dish cleaners. I will find you one. It was in the midst of one of my Ray Dunn hunts that I found this. How did you like them? I see Paris over on Facebook said that she has tried Blue Apron and HelloFresh. What was your experience? Which ones did you like? What did you like better? Um, like I said, I'm really biased to Blue Apron just for the because of the Weight Watchers points and the ease for me. But I am very interested to know what your experience was. If you would like to share. Happy holidays to you too, Neek. I miss you as well. Let's, let's definitely get together and do dinner. I'm not cooking though. We can go out and and have dinner something like that to catch up thank you so much for joining this little uh adventure that i have going on here we're a little bit under two minutes to be able to get started that is the train y'all um our home has the paco train in new jersey um that runs behind us however it's background noise to me at this point but I'm sure like for you guys, you may hear it. So it's easy for me to ignore, but if you are wondering what that is, that's it. It's the turn. Okay. And my dish drying rack sits in my uh, sink just because I don't like a lot of mess. And I like things to be compact. So Paris said that she loved them. She feels like Blue Apron's recipes are a little bit more exotic. Hello Fresh is family friendly and the kids would probably enjoy those. So um, I guess then we made a good choice because we don't have children and I'm looking for exotic. So thank you so much for that Paris. I really appreciate that. And thank you Neek. I appreciate you. Um, I decided that I didn't want to wear wigs anymore, so I just cut all my hair off, and here we go. So, th thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. It looks like we're roughly 20 seconds away from taking out the meat and the vegetables. So, I need to grab my other pot holder. And bear with me, y'all. Give me some feedback, right? Because this is my first cooking video, and I plan on doing these with you guys at least once a week. 
as the life coach quiche brand is forming a partnership with Blue Apron. So I'm really interested to hear like, is this going well? What can I improve? Because this is definitely the first time. And I'm not a chef. Um, this is just really about being healthy all the way around because that's what the brand promotes. And so I wanted to also get into physical wellness and preparing good meals and things like that. I think we talk about working out a lot, but when it comes to cooking well and eating well, we don't talk about that as much. So I really wanted to do that. So give me some feedback, y'all. I really want to know what y'all think about the video. Comment below all that stuff that they say. Please do that um, because I really want to know. So, oh, y'all, this smells so good. And I'm going to let y'all see. So these are the vegetables and the two pieces of salmon. So we're going to sit this on top. And I already turned off my oven so that's like just a little thing like make sure you turn off your oven like when you're done with it I forget that sometimes so now that that's done we're up to step five y'all so we're almost done thank you for hanging in there with me um it says to finish the farro and serve the dish so uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I have to drain the farro into a pot hmm okay so you know what i'm going to pull out little boil this is my little ray dunn boil pot which is the sister to my big boil pot that i'm very very excited about it is not chicken it is salmon um thank you for asking that so It looks like in the picture that you drain it out over the pot. But I feel like then the water is going to get into the pot. But I feel like Pharaoh is small. Let's see what happens, y'all. I'm going to give it a try. And I'm actually going to move for safety purposes, my dish rack. Let me see if I can get my assistant. Honey! That's my call, y'all, when I need assistance. I need some assistance. I didn't think this part through. And then you get the disgruntled, oh Lord, here she goes, right? I'm just gonna move this. Honey, can you move this? <laughs> there is no commercial. We're on. <laughs> we're on live. Here, I need you to move this, please. Here we go. Here's my assistant. Say hello, honey. How come I don't see me? <laughs> You're there. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thank you for moving that. All right. Now I just want to rinse this out, though, y'all, because. There's a little bit of soap in there from cleaning the dishes, and that's gross. Okay. All right. Now, let's turn the pot off, and we're going to put the farro from Big Boil into Little Boil. Mm, that's a little bit hot. Okay. I'm going to scrape out the rest of the farro into the drain board. Like I said, y'all, it's portion controlled, so we need to make sure to get everything up out of here that we can possibly get. Now that that's out of there, we're going to shake it real good. 
sit it on top of big boil, empty out small boil, and put the farro into small boil. And I'll need to scrape that a little bit. And we do still have a little bit in here. But let, let's not be that person who slurps to the bottom of the cup. Whatever's left is left and we'll leave it. I don't like to put really hot pots in my sink just because I keep a, um, a plastic mat in the sink to like catch crumbs and stuff. So a little bit of cold water on the bottom of my pot is always helpful. Which may scold the pot, I'm really not sure, but it's all good. Yes, yes, Monique, they are the assistant, whether they want to be the assistant or not. So again, I'm just going to get the last little bit of this farro um, into this pot here. And then we are going to finish up step five. And then we're going to be done, guys. I'm going to plate this off of live and I'm going to post a picture um, of the meal so that you guys can see once I uh, plate it. I can get a little bit neurotic about plating, so that we're going to do off live. So, okay, now that that's in there, it says, add to the pot of the cooked farro the roasted vegetables, apple cider vinegar, which they sent me a little apple cider vinegar and a drizzle of olive oil and some salt and pepper, which we're just going to do pepper. So I'm actually gonna use my spatula. It actually says flip, all Ray done. For those of you who don't know, get all of your Ray done home goods. They're amazing. And I'm gonna put all the vegetables into here. And again, y'all, I'm trying to be real cute because y'all are on live because I would be like other hand all in this cupping it, trying to make sure um, that I don't drop anything, but I want to be a lady for y'all. And also just not be like touching on stuff. Okay. That's all of that. And then the apple cider vinegar in there. And then doo -doo 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 -doo. a drizzle of olive oil. salt and pepper combine it all up together so again pepper no salt once I mix this all up I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like I don't know y'all this is looking a little bit like the paper we might have uh, something going on So this is what it looks like. It smells so good, y'all. Um, in which case, let me show y'all the picture again. So it looks a lot like the picture. Um, and then it says, serve the finished farro topped with roasted salmon, drizzle with the dressing, garnish with the zatar seasoning. So you know what? Let's just do one plate together so that I can actually go all the way through. Just give me a second. So like I said, I don't have white plates. I used to have white plates, but I don't have white plates anymore. So we're gonna do it on a navy blue and white plate. So it looks like I am to, if we go back to this, I'm gonna lay down the vegetable medley first then I'm gonna put on the salmon, 
Then I'm going to drizzle it with yogurt and top it with some of the Zatar seasoning. So let's get, let's give it a whirl. to get the salmon up. Then we put the, we drizzle the yogurt sauce on. Bam, y'all. We have a meal. The Zatar roasted salmon with warm farro salad and feta yogurt dressing. We are going to get into this, y'all. We're going to eat this and we're going to let you guys know how it tastes. Um, this was their picture. Just so for reference, that was their picture. This is my picture. <laughs> I think that we did a good job, guys. I'm really excited to try it. Um, I will definitely come back and let you guys know how it tastes. Um, we have another meal um, that we got as well, which is a roasted pork. Um, I may or may not do that on live. You guys let me know if you enjoyed this. I'll do that one on live too. Um, once again, cheers to you guys for hanging out with me, cooking this meal with me. We're now going to get into this and see what happens. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Happy Sunday. Have a productive week. And as always, thank you guys so much for allowing me to serve you in some little way from a very humble place. See you guys later. Thank you so, so much.